Hello, good evening. This is Manuel, designer of eBay paper calculator. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to use the eBay calculator designed by Manuel. <coughs> um, before we proceed, I'm gonna <coughs> before we proceed, I'm gonna explain some of the columns we have here. Starting from the left, we have the P date, which means the purchase date. And next to it is QUT, the quantity of item purchased. Item code is um, any symbolic thing you use in presenting the items, like abbreviations. Item is the description, a brief description of what you have, but what you have purchased. Then under here you have the purchase cost, and it's divided into two parts. You have the dollar sign per item and the dollar sign total. The difference between the dollar sign per item and dollar sign total is the dollar sign. The dollar sign per item is the amount that you use in buying per item. That's the amount you were charged to purchase one item. And the dollar sign total under the purchase cost is the total amount you spent in buying the complete numbers or the total number of items you have purchased. Then eBay says is the amount you use in selling each item on eBay and you have the dollar sign per item same like this so the dollar sign per item under the eBay sales is the cost you, at which you are selling the product on eBay and the dollar sign total is gonna be the cost you use in selling the total number of items you purchased earlier then the eBay fee is also divided into two parts you have the dollar sign per item and the dollar sign total under the dollar sign per item Right here it tells you the fee that you're gonna be paying if you should sell one item on eBay if you should sell one item on eBay then the dollar cent total is gonna be the amount total you're gonna pay if you sell everything you have purchased earlier then leaving this column that is not really part of it because it fluctuates every time so we go to the next part which is the paper fee and you have the paper dollar sign per item and the dollar sign total. The dollar sign per item is the amount of money you pay. Paper is going to charge you for receiving that payment. And at the end of the transaction, if you should sell everything, it gives you the total up here. And the profit line, you have the profit you're going to make per item if you sell one. And the profit total you're going to make after selling everything. So here's an example. Assuming on the first of sorry on the third of March 2008, 2010, I purchased ten copies of Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office 07. 07. Right here, I want to use some code to represent that to be M O T, which stands for Microsoft Office Professional. And I can put something like dash 07 to show the year. And if it cost me, for example, 150 in purchasing one of them, you'll find that <coughs> the total cost here. It's going to be 1500 so it automatically calculates the total this times that to give you the total here and if i should sell it on ebay at the rate of if i should sell it on ebay for 400 dollars per item you see right here it's going to tell me i sold that 10 items for four thousand dollars and on this column for each item i sell on ebay I have to able to charge me fifteen dollars thirty one cent, and at the end of the ten item sales, I'm gonna pay one hundred and fifty three fifteen cent. And I told you before, neglect this part. So we come over to this part. We have the dollar sign per item. E PayPal is gonna charge you eleven dollars to receive a four hundred dollar in payment into your account. And at the end of the 10 item sales, you pay PayPal 
their total fee to PayPal is going to be $119. Then on, in, on each item sold, you make a profit of $222.79 and a total of $2,272.85. Let's assume we take another product and this product was bought same January, but maybe six two thousand and two thousand and ten and we happen to buy like fifty copies of Win Windows Vista Windows Vista Ultimate right here I want to use the code UVW to start we start for Windows Vista Ultimate and each item I purchased for a hundred and twenty, so I spent six thousand dollars buying those fifty items. If I should sell it on eBay at the cost of two fifty per item, I will sell it for over twelve thousand five hundred. And right here, take a look right here. For each item I sold, I'm paying ten dollars six cent. At the end of the 50 item sales, I'm going to pay eBay a total of 500 and a total of 500 and three dollars 23 cent, and PayPal will charge seven dollars 55 cent, three dollars 775 and uh, 770, sorry, 377 50 cent in total, and on each item you make a profit of. A hundred and twelve thirty nine and a total profit of five thousand six hundred and nineteen twenty nine. Let's assume if you were having this calculator and you bought an item for uh, uh, and you bought an item at um, one moment, please. Okay, maybe you bought an item for at the date of let's say it was an. March 4th 2010 and you bought this item you bought 30 items of iPod let's say iPod and it's an Apple touch to be precise you bought them for um, you bought them for hundred dollars each and unknowingly to you because no, let's say the hundred dollar won't work let's make it a two fifty so you see you spent seven thousand five hundred in buying those thirty piece unknowing for you because you don't have the eBay calculator and pay eBay paper calculator and you want to pull market you want to pull people to buy your product and you decided to sell your product at 240 or let's make it a little bit more 251 if you sell it at 251 you see you run at a loss too if you put you run at a loss at the end of it you're gonna lose 16 dollars per each item at the end you lost 500 you are not making any profit you may think you make a profit of one dollar but you don't let's say you go 255 even at five dollars thinking you're making a profit of five dollars be okay for you but stay you still at the lost you can see that right here so you need to add at least twenty dollars let's see 270 now you are coming up but that is not a good profit if you are selling each one at two seventy, twenty dollar more, you're still not making any profit. All the profit you make is gonna be like only one dollar eleven cent. So sorry, control is gonna be one dollar eleven cent, and the total after selling thirty is like you've wasted your time making only thirty three dollars. That is not good. You want to make something good, put it like three hundred. Now you're talking. You are able to pull up eight hundred and seventy-five dollars fifty-five cent. 
and coming at the base right here it tells you the total amount you have spent so far up here right there and then the total amount you sold it right there the total amount you paid eBay is right there and that of paper too same down here and at the end of the month or at the end of the week depending on how you balance your account you can see the total amount you made as a profit so thank you for watching and to purchase a copy of this application you can go you can visit the link below is on eBay and it sells for four for six dollars fifty cents so you can go there and grab your copy thanks